Close your eyes and let your mind wander back in time. Can you recall that one evening when the world seemed to hush and a cozy warmth enveloped you as you sat before the flickering glow of a television screen? It was your first encounter with the 1974 TV series, Little House on the Prairie. The room felt like a haven, and the characters on the screen became companions, sharing tales of life on the frontier that stirred your imagination and touched your heart. Perhaps it was the humble Ingalls family, their enduring spirit amidst trials and triumphs, that etched itself into your memory. Or maybe it was the sprawling landscapes, painted in golden hues, that transported you to an era of simplicity and determination. As the episodes unfolded, you laughed, you cried, and you became part of their journey, a journey that felt strangely familiar, even if your own world was a world away from the prairie. And oh, the moments that linger. The mischievous antics of young Laura, the wisdom of past words, and the gentle strength of Ma, these are memories that have woven themselves into the tapestry of your life. You can still hear the theme music, a soothing melody that conjures images of bonnets and wide open spaces. But now, let's peel back the layers of time and delve into the hidden gems that make Little House on the Prairie more than just a show. Beyond the scripted lines and carefully curated scenes lie random facts that illuminate the behind-the-scenes magic, anecdotes that will make you smile and nod, knowing that every story has its own story. So, sit back, dear reader, and let the curtain rise on a new chapter of nostalgia. These tidbits will unveil the artistry and dedication that brought Laura's world to life, one frame at a time. And as we journey through these tidings of yesteryears, remember your own journey, the first encounter, the cherished moments, and how they remain forever etched in your heart. Melissa Sue Anderson's Emmy nomination shines amidst Little House's legacy in the pantheon of heartwarming television. Little House on the Prairie has left an indelible mark on viewers since its 1974 debut. Yet, while the show's ensemble cast brought its iconic characters to life, it was Melissa Sue Anderson's poignant portrayal of Mary Ingalls that garnered an Emmy nomination. In the gripping two-part season four finale, it'll be waving as you drive away, Mary's journey through blindness tugged at viewers' heartstrings. Melissa Sue Anderson's raw performance earned her an Emmy nod, a testament to her ability to embody the delicate balance of vulnerability and strength. Alas, victory was not to be hers that year, as the award eluded her grasp. Nevertheless, her portrayal remains an enduring testament to the show's emotional depth. Behind the scenes, another unique moniker emerged, echoing the show's fond familiarity. Michael Landon, the stalwart Charles Ingalls, affectionately referred to Melissa Gilbert, who portrayed Laura Ingalls as half-pint, mirroring their on-screen dynamic. This nickname wasn't just an on-screen quirk, but a practical solution to differentiate between the two Melissas on set. While the show's original Melissa, Melissa Sue Anderson, Sean as Mary, the addition of Melissa Francis as Caroline, and Charles' adoptive daughter Cassandra brought yet another Melissa into the fold, creating a delightful coincidence in the show's intricate web of relationships. Blanche Hinali's, credited with developing the show for television, penned the script for the original pilot in 1974, igniting the spark that would illuminate the heartwarming saga. Although her involvement extended only to that inaugural episode, her name remained in the show's opening credits throughout its lifespan, a testament to her foundational role in bringing the Ingalls family's story to homes across the nation. As time marches on, Little House on the Prairie continues to occupy a hallowed corner of television history. Melissa Sue Anderson's Emmy nod, the endearing camaraderie behind Half Pint, and Blanche Hinali's enduring credit all weave together in the tapestry of a show that reminds us of the power of family, resilience, and the ties that bind us. A chapter of television that will forever be etched in the annals of heartwarming storytelling. Charles Ingalls, a timeless TV father in Little House on the Prairie Charles Ingalls, the steadfast patriarch of the beloved 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie, continues to resonate with audiences, securing his place among the pantheon of iconic TV dads. Notably, TV Guide's esteemed list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time positioned him at a commendable fourth place. Portrayed by Michael Landon, Ingall's portrayal of a caring, principled father in a pioneering family captured the hearts of viewers across generations. Yet, behind the scenes, the production's devotion to authenticity was equally impressive. Each episode's 45-minute runtime, 
a seamless blend of heartwarming tales and moral lessons, came to life through an arduous seven-day shooting process. This meticulous effort combined four days of on-location filming at the sprawling Big Sky Ranch in Simi Valley for the picturesque Walnut Grove exteriors, followed by three days of dedicated work in the studio to capture the series' signature interiors. While Laura Ingalls and Willie Olson's on-screen rivalry fueled dramatic tension, a lesser-known parallel unfolded off-screen. Portrayed by Melissa Gilbert and Jonathan Gilbert respectively, these two actors, adopted siblings in real life, struggled to forge a harmonious bond. In her candid autobiography Confessions of a Prairie Bitch, Alison Arngrim, who played Nellie Olson, unveiled an incident that hinted at their off-screen discord. During a dinner at the Gilbert household, Melissa reportedly uttered the words, I hate my brother, do you want to keep him? This pointed remark, deliberately audible to Jonathan, underscored their strained relationship. Unsurprisingly, years after the series' conclusion, Jonathan Gilbert reportedly distanced himself, effectively severing ties with Melissa. This rift, now acknowledged by Melissa Gilbert, remains unhealed, with the siblings having lost contact for several years. In the grand tapestry of television history, Little House on the Prairie remains a cherished piece, woven with both endearing stories and complex human connections. Charles Ingalls' enduring position among TV's greatest fathers, the labor-intensive production process, and the poignant real-life struggles of Laura and Willie Ingalls stand as testament to the Matthew series' Labiordo, impact. The unseen thread in Little House on the Prairie's family tapestry and the heartwarming saga of the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie. The bond between siblings was a narrative cornerstone. While fans fondly remember the iconic duo of Laura and Mary Ingalls, another sibling connection remained hidden behind the scenes, known to only the most devoted viewers. Matthew Labiordo, portraying the endearing Albert Ingalls, was the younger, adopted brother of Patrick Labiordo, who left his own mark on the show as Andrew Garvey. Their real-life sibling connection lent an authenticity to their on-screen interactions that captivated audiences for years. Beyond the familial link, the production of Little House on the Prairie had its own unique methods of evoking emotions from its young cast. Michael Landon, the show's charismatic creator and lead actor, displayed a distinct approach in guiding child actors and actresses to tap into their tearful talents. Melissa Gilbert, who portrayed Laura Ingalls, recounted how Landon, in a moment of emotional intensity, would lock eyes with her, brimming with tears, and pose the heartfelt question, Do you know how much I love you? This unconventional technique triggered genuine emotion, drawing forth the necessary tears for the scene at hand. Amidst the emotional intricacies of the set, Melissa Gilbert was also struck by a curious habit of Michael Landon's. The star, who himself smoked 60 to 80 unfiltered cigarettes daily, possessed a distinct habit of extinguishing his cigarette on his gloves. This idiosyncratic behavior, mirroring the complex layers of his character, became emblematic of Landon's enigmatic persona. As we reminisce about the heartening tales and behind-the-scenes anecdotes of Little House on the Prairie, the intertwined threads of real-life connections, unconventional acting methods, and personal habits weave a richer tapestry around the cherished show. Alison Arngrim and Melissa Gilbert, beyond the prairie in the idyllic landscape of Little House on the Prairie, the camaraderie extended beyond the scripted tales. Alison Arngrim and Melissa Gilbert, who portrayed Nellie Olson and Laura Ingalls respectively, formed an unbreakable bond that resonated beyond the screen. While the series chronicled the pioneering spirit of the Ingalls family, the off-camera friendship between Arngrim and Gilbert brought a modern touch to the rustic narrative. Their backstage escapades were the stuff of legend. The duo's affinity for adventure wasn't confined to historical reenactments. They found their own battleground in what they coined territory wars. Set against the rustic backdrop, the pair engaged in playful skirmishes, crafting an alternate reality amidst the prairie sets. Away from petticoats and bonnets, they embraced the spirit of youthful exuberance that often defied the show's 19th century setting. Despite the chasm between their on-screen personas, Arngrim and Gilbert's real-life connection endured the test of time. Their camaraderie served as a poignant reminder that friendship knows no era, transcending historical confines. The spirit of their playful camaraderie reminds us that even within the most austere of narratives, the genuine bonds of friendship can flourish. Alison Arngrim and Melissa Gilbert's on-set camaraderie echoed the heartwarming ethos of Little House on the Prairie, 
proving that even in the past, timeless friendships could take root. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of the 1974 TV series Little House on the Prairie, let's take a moment to traverse the verdant landscapes of nostalgia it has gifted us. Just like the sun-kissed prairies that witnessed the Ingalls family's trials and triumphs, this show has woven itself into the fabric of our hearts, leaving an indelible mark that only the passage of time could enhance. As the final curtain falls on this captivating journey, it beckons us to reflect on the chapters of our lives that found solace in the tales of Walnut Grove. Perhaps it's the warmth of Ma and Pa's unwavering love, or the resilience of young Laura navigating the wildness of life that resonates deeply within you. Maybe it's the simple wisdom imparted by Mr. Edwards or the friendship that bloomed amidst hardships that you hold dear. So now, dear friend, I extend an earnest invitation. Share with us the fragments of your heart that Little House on the Prairie has imprinted upon. Be it a cherished scene, a tearful goodbye, or a lesson learned, your stories enrich the tapestry of this timeless narrative. For just as the show thrived on community and connection, your experiences are the building blocks of its enduring legacy. From flickering screens to the chambers of memory, the journey continues, fueled by your memories and reflections. We stand at this juncture where the past and the present embrace, and in that moment, we are united by the thread of a show that touched lives across generations. Thank you, kindred spirit, for joining us on this voyage down memory lane. Your time, your memories, and your reflections are the true treasures that keep the spirit of Little House on the Prairie alive. Until we gather again to reminisce, share, and cherish, let's carry the spirit of Walnut Grove within us, with gratitude for your time and interest.